you guys. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing foundations. I have 87 foundations here. Do I need 87? No. <laughs> Most likely, no one needs 87 foundation. I know I just don't really need this much, but I know I'm still also gonna keep receiving more foundations, just because foundation is one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine. And so then, I will be keeping quite a bit. But I have 87 right now, a good range of high end and low ends. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first one right now is the Ordinary. This is the Serum Foundation. Uh, this is in my everyday makeup desk right now and I am loving it. So I'm gonna keep using this and hopefully I'm gonna finish it and put it in an empty soon. So this one I will be keeping. Next one that I also have at my everyday makeup desk is the Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation. I do like this. I like the coverage of it. It feels really nice on the skin. The component though is like kind of cheap looking. Like literally as soon as I bought it and like open it, like this part was like super loose and stuff, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I am gonna keep, keep it and keep using it because it is at my everyday makeup desk. All right, now is the hard part. <laughs> it's actually um, going in on these products. So, okay, uh, the Dior Air Flash. This I recently received in December of 2020, so I'm gonna keep this because I haven't actually got the chance to try it yet. But I've heard really good things and it's probably one of the only luxury foundations that I have. So, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Next is this Milk Makeup Foundation. This one is the Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. This one definitely is too dark for me right now. It's in Golden Honey. Honestly, it honestly actually might be too dark for me even when the summer comes around. So, I'm... I'm gonna declutter this one and probably rebuy it in a different shade, probably lighter. But this one, I'm gonna declutter it. Okay, cool, great, we got one. <laughs> Let's see, next, I'm just gonna pick at random. Next is the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. This is for all skin types and this is in the shade Warm Beige. I have not tried this yet, so I'm gonna keep it so I can test it out. I'm probably gonna keep majority of my low-end products just because I definitely need more range. One of my most um, worries was that I wasn't having enough low-end foundations to recommend. So I definitely wanna keep a good variety at least. This one is another number seven foundation. Sorry about the glare. This one is the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Foundation and also warm beige. I'm also gonna keep this one because I also recently bought this too. Next is the Maybelline Urban Dream Urban Cover, full coverage in 2020 Natural Beige. This one, uh, um, honestly, oh, it has an expiration date and it expires. It actually expires in one month. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use this within that month, especially because the shade is a bit too dark for me. So I'm going to have to toss this out and declutter it. So there goes that one. Oh, next one. These ones are the NYX Total Control Foundations. I have never used these ones. Sorry, they're dusty because I never used them. <laughs> these ones are both in the shade 08. Uh, I don't know what like the name, actual name of it is. It is True Beige. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this because NYX actually came out with a reformulated version of this. So I'm going to declutter this one by the new formulated ones and hopefully I'll get to use those ones. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna declutter these two, okay. Next is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Natural. I am going to keep this because I haven't been able to try it yet. So I'm going to keep it. Next is the Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 150 Buff. I'm going to keep this, I haven't tried it yet. And it might, it kind of looks like it might be a little too pink for me, but I still want to test it out at least and see how I feel about the 
coverage and stuff and if the coverage is to my liking then I'll see if I can find a better shade match for myself. Next is the Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation in One Medium. I actually really enjoy this foundation. This is from Dollar Tree. This is the Dollar Tree brand Sassy and Chic. So this foundation is only a dollar. It's actually really good and it's great for that like natural everyday type makeup no makeup look so I'm gonna keep this one because I actually really enjoy this one next is a Bobbi Brown skin foundation this one is in warm beige I also recently just bought this so I'm gonna keep this one so I can test it out next is the Clinique even better clinical serum foundation I actually just um, got gifted this so I'm going to keep it and test it out and see how I feel about it. I'm definitely really excited to test it out. Next are my Can't Stop Won't Stop foundations. I think I have two of these that I can see right now. I have one in the shade Vanilla and Nude. I feel like mm, I will keep both of them just because the Vanilla might be my shade right now. Although it does look a little too pink now that I'm looking at it. But Nude is definitely like my everyday summer, fall shade. So. I will be keeping both of these. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation, the Luminizing Wear in the shade White. I bought this because it was supposed to be more of a um, effects foundation to use and I always notice that I don't reach for it whenever I do my FX looks because it's never in my FX drawer. So I'm even going to keep this one but it's actually going to move to my FX drawer. So technically it's not going to count as a foundation in this collection but it's going to go into my fx portion of my collection if that makes sense so this one stays but it's moving to a different drawer next are my elf camo cc concealers i have medium 33w and light 240 i'm definitely going to keep these i have yet to try them but they have been getting amazing reviews and I love e.l.f. so <laughs> I definitely want to try out this formula because their other foundations just never worked out for me so I'm hoping this one will at least work out. Next are my Sephora stick foundations. I think I have three of these. I, and I know I recently bought these like last year and I'm actually going to declutter these ones because these ones are online only. Sorry if the angle is different. Um, my camera battery uh, heated up. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since we've used the camera and I'm really excited. Uh, so I guess my camera's just trying to get used to it again. But we left off at the Sephora foundation sticks. I was saying that these ones you can only get online and even then I'm pretty sure uh, they're gonna be discontinued pretty soon. These are the Make No Mistakes foundation and concealer sticks. I have multiple shades in 03, 04, and 07. So I'm going to declutter three, all three of these. Next are my Juvia's Place foundations. I haven't tried these yet. I still, are they? Yep, they're still completely sealed. They're just out of their packaging. I'm gonna keep both of them just because I, yeah. I haven't been able to try them yet, but I have in the shade Giza and Cebu. I think that's how you say it. Next are my Pro Matte LA Girls. <laughs> I have no idea why I bought three of them, but I have three of them because I couldn't figure out my shade. I feel like, honestly, these all could be my shade, but should I keep all three of them? That is the question. I have beige medium beige and then natural. I feel like I can get rid of medium beige just because I, I don't know. It might look a little too pink for me, honestly. So I'm gonna go ahead and declare this one and then I'll keep the two lighter ones because I can always uh, warm it up with bronzer and stuff. So I'll keep the two lighter ones and then declutter the medium beige. We will keep going. Next is the Sephora Foundation Tint. A 10 hour performance wear. This one was the one before they came out with the new formulated one. This one is also online only and I'm pretty sure it's about to get discontinued as well. So I will go ahead and declutter this one because why would I 
need a foundation that's not gonna be available anymore. Next is the LA Colors. This one is the one that I tried out in my uh, full face of LA Colors makeup. This one I am gonna declutter just because it is very dark for me and it has a pink undertone to it. So it definitely makes me look way too pink. So I'm gonna declutter this for sure. Next is my BH Liquid Foundation. This one is in the shade Medium Beige. Uh, I really need to try this out. I've had this for a while. Uh, it's still good though because I haven't opened it yet. Hi Maya, she wants attention. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and hopefully use it soon. <laughs> Next is my Fenty Beauty. This is the uh, Soft Matte in the shade 210. This is my one of my favorite high-end foundation brands. Uh, this is a backup. I had to declutter my old one because it was really old and bad. So. I am gonna keep this one because it is a backup and I know I can always go to this one when I need a good foundation. Are my L'Oreal Infallibles. I love these foundations. These are amazing, but I am going to, yep, I'm going to declutter both of them because uh, one of them expired in the first of, in the January 2021 and then the other one expired in December of 2020. So I really love it when foundations have an expiration date on them. So I'm definitely going to declare these ones because I, they both have been used. You can see this one and this one have been used and abused. So these ones will have to be tossed out, but I do love this formula. So I will probably most likely uh, repurchase these. Next is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. This is the reformulated foundation. Um, I was gifted this, so I am gonna keep it so I can test it out and see how I feel about this one at least. And then next are the Sephora, let's see, these ones are the full coverage foundations. I have 26, 24, Honey, and Golden Honey. Uh, these ones also, like the other Sephora ones, only online and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be discontinued soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Next is the NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Nude. I haven't tried this one yet, but I've heard it's a dupe for the Anastasia one. So I definitely wanna test them out and see how I feel about them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this one and test it out. Next is the CoverGirl True Blend. This is just the like original regular one. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because like it's still ugh, pretty sealed. Uh, it might be a little too dark for me right now, but I'm gonna keep it and hopefully I'll be able to match myself soon with it. <laughs> and then I have these three Milk Makeup Foundation Sticks. I am pretty sure I've tried one, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. I have the shade Cashmere Light and Golden Nude. So I'm gonna keep all three of them so I can test them out. Next is the Paracomb MD. This is the No Makeup Foundation in shade beige. And it's a light, medium, and neutral undertone foundation. Haven't tried this yet, but I definitely wanna try it out because some days when I just wanna do like a natural, kinda like small makeup look type, I wanna see how this one will. And then here is a backup of my Lorac Pro Software Foundation, but this one is in medium dark, so it's gonna be a little darker than the one that I'm using right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this though. Next is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. Uh, this was also gifted to me and I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm excited to see how it works, you know? So I'm going to keep this one so I can test it out. Next is my Wet n Wild Foundation Stick in the shade Classic Beige. I'm gonna keep this, haven't been able to try it yet, but we'll keep it. Next is the Flower Beauty Double Ended Stick. This is a natural beige. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I'm most likely gonna toss it out because it has been used, but I don't know. I just feel like it's pretty old, so I'm gonna go ahead and declare this one. Next is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation in the shade 2.4 Blend. I'm gonna keep this one. Um, bought it back in, I wanna say October of 2020, but I haven't been able to test it out yet, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep this one. And then I have another of the Urban Decay Dream Urban Cover, or what did I say? No, I meant <laughs> Maybelline Urban cover dream foundation. This one, let me see when this one expires. This one also expires in April, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and declare this one as well. Next are my, oops, sorry. 
I put something over. <laughs> Next is my Milani Conceal and Perfect foundations. I have Creamy Nude and Creamy Vanilla. I'm gonna keep both of these because I haven't been able to test them out yet, but I've heard good things about them. Next is my NARS. This one is the Semi Matte Luminous Weight Foundation. Um, this one's pretty okay. It's not like my favorite high-end foundation, but I'm gonna keep it and continue to use it. Next are the Balm uh, Whipped Foundations. I definitely, definitely wanna, <laughs> definitely, definitely. I really wanna try these out because it's a whipped formula and I've never tried a whipped formula foundation before. I've had these for a while, but I really need to go ahead and test them out. So I'm probably gonna put them aside for a testing, um, interesting makeup type of video. So I will keep these though for at least testing those out first. Then I have whoop, the Makeup Revolution Conceal Define Foundation in the shade 5.7. I'm gonna keep this one because I wanna do a full face of Revolution makeup. So I will keep this one. Next is another Maybelline. This is the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. I don't think, yep, I haven't opened it or tried it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one so I can test this one out. Next is the Revlon Color Stay Natural Finish Foundation. This one's for normal to dry skin, very dry skin. So hopefully this one will work for me. Next is the Ordinary. This is the full coverage foundation in the shade light medium. I'm gonna test this one out, see if I like this one as much as I like their serum foundation. So we'll we'll see how that is. Next is the Wet n Wild. This is Soft Beige Foundation. It looks like, honestly, it might be too pink for me. It's still sealed. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one just because uh, like out here, it just looks like it's gonna be too pink. Next is my MAC Foundation in NC15. Usually I'm NC20, but I decided to get NC15 so that I can wear it now if I wanted to, and then I can just sort of lighten it up in the summer or um, darken it up in the summer with some bronzer or something. So that is what I'm keeping. Next, I have a L'Oreal Thick Foundation in Unfallible. This is in the shade Nude Beige. It looks like I have tested it out, but honestly, I do not remember how I feel about this. So I'm, let me see. Oh, it expired <laughs> August of 2020. So unfortunately, I guess I will declutter this one, but maybe I'll like repurchase it later on and see how I remember how I feel about it. Next, I have the Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Foundation in Buff. I don't remember. Why I haven't tested this out yet? Is it the shade? I think it's just like a shade too dark for me right now, but I will keep this so I can test it out and see how I feel about, whoops, <laughs> the Laura Geller formulation. Next is the medium tan, or I'm sorry, not neutral tan, CC Oil Free Matte Foundation by IT Cosmetics. This one, I think I am gonna declutter. Yep, it expired in, uh, let's see, August, what is it? March, April, May, June. <laughs> it expired of June of 2020. Uh, so yeah, this one will be decluttered. <laughs> Next I have two MAC Studio Fix Foundation Sticks, both of them in NC20. I'm gonna keep these. I haven't really tested it out. I tested it out once, but I really did not like it. Uh, but I think it was just because I didn't wait for my primer to sort of settle first, but I wanna test it out again and then try it in different ways to see if I can get it into a way that I do like it. All right, next is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the shade Golden Neutral. This one is just too dark for me right now, so I will keep it and test it out more in the summer. Next is the Cover FX Custom Drops. I'm honestly not sure what this is. I think it's a foundation, but I don't know, because this is really tiny to be a foundation. But this is in medium one. I will keep this to test it out and see what like exactly it is. I don't know if you're supposed to mix it in with normal foundation or wear it by itself. So I wanna test it out and see what I come up with. Now this one, I have just been thinking about non-stop because I not I don't know. I really want to keep it because I really want to test out the formula. But it seems like Marc Jacobs uh, discontinued this foundation line because you can't find it on Sephora anymore. And I honestly I didn't even check to see if I, if they have it on their website. But um, I guess I'll check on their website to see if they still carry this. If not, then I'll go ahead and declutter. 
but if they do then I'll keep it so that way I can still refer it to people but I haven't even had the chance to try it yet and I just bought it like the beginning of last year see how pretty and bougie it looks Ugh. I really hope they haven't like discontinued this yet because I really want to try it out <laughs> and it's so, so pretty and bougie and <clears throat> Next is the Becca Skin Weightless Blur Foundation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this, unfortunately, because Becca is going to be closing down. I just don't feel comfortable trying out a new foundation from them that I know I can't recommend, that I won't be able to recommend anymore, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this because I haven't even tried it yet, so this one's gonna go. Next are my Pure 4-in-1 Foundation Sticks. I have two, one in the shade medium and blush medium. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because uh, Pure is uh, broadening up their four in one collection line. So I will keep this so I can keep trying out the four in one. Next I have Smith and Colt. This is the Veiled Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. That is a mouthful. I have two in the shade 270 neutral and 300 neutral. I'm gonna keep both of them because I just bought these not too long ago. I think I wanna say in December of 2020. So I definitely wanna keep them and test these out. Laura Mercier, this is the Law Lawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. Uh, let me see if it has an expiration date. It does not, but I think, you know what, actually, I think, okay, I was gonna declare this, but now that I'm thinking, I'm gonna keep it and test it out again. I wasn't sure if I didn't like it because of the formula or if I didn't like it because the shade match wasn't right. So I wanna test it out again to make sure what it was. And if it was the formula, then I'll declutter it. But if it's just a shade match, then I'll see if I can like mix it up with something. Next are my Fenty Beauty uh, Hydrating Foundations. This one is the one that I currently use in 190. I really do like this formula. It's really nice, hydrating. It feels really good on the skin. So I'm gonna keep this one, obviously. And then this one is in my normal summer and fall shade in 210. So I'm gonna keep both of them. These ones, the Milani Screen Screen Queens. I um, have two in 260 and 220. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these ones. I have used them. Have I used both of them? Yes, I used both of them. I tr really, really tried to to like them. I, Cause I know a lot of people didn't like these, but I really tried to like them, but I don't know. I just felt like they didn't, they just really did not do anything for my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just declutter these ones. Next is the Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation. This is probably one of the only things that I have from Ofra besides one of their, I have maybe two highlighters from them. But other than that, this is the only other thing I have and I haven't tried it yet. So I wanna keep this to test it out and see how I feel more about like the Ofra brand itself. Next is Cover Effects again. This is the Powder Play Foundation. I really like the concealer uh, form of this one. So I wanna test out the foundation and see how I feel about that. These ones are the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. This is for normal to dry skin. I feel like I definitely want to keep one of them. I feel like, I can't, what are the shades? Does it, oh, dumb, dumb, they're at the top. One is warm nude and one is light beige. I'm gonna keep light beige because that seems like the color that would be closest to me. This one just seems like it'd be a little too dark for me right now. And I think, should I? Yeah, it's been used. So I'll go ahead and declutter this one, the darker one, the dewy and smooth warm nude and then I'll keep the light beige. Next are the Do You Foundations by Too Faced. Um, I don't know how I feel about this honestly. Like I kind of like it, kind of don't. And I also know that you can still find this. So it is good to keep it. So I'm going to keep testing these out and see how I really feel about them so I can really like put out my thoughts on them. So these ones I will keep to keep testing. The Anastasia Luminous Foundation and 315N. I'm gonna keep this, just got it last year, but I haven't used it yet, but yes, I definitely wanna keep this one. And then lastly, I have the 4-in-1 Selfies by Pure. This is in MG2 and MG5. That's what the shades look like on the sides. Um, I'm gonna keep both of them because I know people rave about this, but I just, I don't know why I haven't gotten to try it yet but I'm going to, I will, I promise. <laughs> so I will keep these ones. The best way to count how much I'm keeping is to count how much I'm decluttering. So let's see how much I am decluttering. All 
Alrighty guys, four foundations that I am decluttering. I am decluttering 23 foundations. Alright, so that means I'm going to be keeping 65 foundations. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I do have this one that is a maybe, the Marc Jacobs one, so I need to test this or I need to check up on this one. If this one is still in use, then I will be keeping this one. I will like write up here if it is or if it's not. And then the LA Girl white one, that one's actually moving to my FX ones. So technically, in all together, I will be keeping either 64 or 63, depending if this one is still available. Could have been better, yes. Could have been worse, honestly. <laughs> but um, it's not too shabby. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. A lot of these that uh, have not been used or opened or anything, I will list them on my Poshmark. Otherwise, uh, ones that I have used and are still able to be passed on will be passed on to my friends and family who have kind of the similar skin tone as me. And yeah, unfortunately I can't donate foundations, but that is okay. <laughs> so um, if you guys are interested in anything like this, check out my Poshmark guys, the link is down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to let the outro Danny take you guys away. Hey guys, editing Danny here. Um, I realized I didn't film an intro or an outro for this video, but outro Danny is gonna go ahead and do it right now then. <laughs> Ignore my little baby tree back there. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So this is going to be sort of like the intro to my declutter series. Uh, this one was actually filmed quite a few months ago, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, so the ones that are going to be coming up next are going to be more recently. They're going to be like more now. Um, I decided to up still upload this one, though, because it was one that I was actually really proud of with my foundations. With my foundations right now, I don't feel like I would make as big of a dent uh, for decluttering those ones as I did with this declutter. So I decided to keep this one and upload it and then I won't do a recent foundation declutter just because I feel like I wouldn't do as good as this one. I'd probably honestly get rid of like two if I'm being honest. <laughs> Alright guys, but this is the introduction to uh, my declutter series. I'm going to be uploading one every now and then. Probably not every Friday, but, uh, you know, just sprinkle one in there. Give you a little surprise. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday. Leave a comment down below on what's my next declutter that you want to see. Let me know. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. And I'll see you next Friday.